Hello and welcome to Life is Magical podcast. I'm your host Sri Manju Katagada, intuitive healer, Akashic records reader, a house author of Connect Your Inner Guide book, and who believes in experiencing healing and life is magical. Through this show, I'll be sharing my toolbox, which is full of life hacks, tips for rainy days, ways to hold our connections with the inner guide, and much more fun things. Let us begin this journey. Hi, beautiful souls. Welcome to episode 14. In this episode, I'm going to bring in 15 simple and easy tips to release anxiety. Yes, these are very simple to be able to do and change to where we are to the better of raising our consciousness or the vibrations of our whole system. And you feel to de-stress yourself, bring in peace and calmness. So here we go. Uh, If you have a pen and a paper, it's great to write them down and see which one uh, you resonate with and uh, you can work on it. So we all know that feeling of pressure called stress. It does happen in our day to day lives and it can happen when you are stuck in traffic, running late and when you're juggling too many demands on your life or coping with work or family problems or all of those as well isn't it and over the last year and half so much has changed to the way of living our lives isn't it and it's adding causing more as well to many of us and if you are hearing this and resonating with it you are not only the one we are all in this together from time to time and haven't come across anyone so far who hasn't witnessed stress at some point in their life. Even the monks, like, you know, before they were in the monastery, they have been in search of it. They are in uh, looking for deep within them and they were, they do understand it. And here they are becoming monks to find the solution or bring the peace, you know. And some stress can be energizing, It can give you an extra push to meet a deadline or a challenge. Say, for example, like you have a due date of completion, your project tomorrow. It is stressful, but it is an active stress. You know that you have to do things, you have to juggle around and by tomorrow it's done. Deadline is over and you can relax your system. But too much of ongoing stress can leave you feeling burnt out affecting both uh, your physical and emotional health and running on empty space lets you collapse as well that's it isn't it how far can you go like you know a mile a day 10 weeks two two months or um, two years and after that what happens to you stress creates anxiety and can increase uh, um Increase the risk of the panic disorder, an anxiety disorder problem, um, which is caused by recurrent panic attacks. For people who tend to worry excessively about things, you may have a generalized anxiety disorder. Stress can increase the anxious thoughts. Definitely, this is something that I would ask you uh, to think about and see how you're witnessing, how you're reacting to it, and to make a plan that uh, to reduce it. I wouldn't say eradicate right now completely because it's been months, years that you have been here and you have built it up, but now is the time to think about how do I clear it? What can I do to clear it? And this is where uh, some of the tips can come in handy. And below here, like, you know, as you go on, listen to this podcast, you'll be getting some around 15 tools or tips that you can try and overcome the anxiety. Over consistency practice can conquer the world, but there are simple tools that you can incorporate easily into your daily life. And if you know me, if you have been listening to my podcast so far, our 
any place uh, where I speak, it's always the simple things, how we can uh, untangle and make it easier rather than cause more stress into our lives by bringing the new tools into our lives. Yeah. So here you go. The first one. Breathing. Close your eyes and connect with your body. Breathe into your belly and hold. Gently breathe it out. As simple as that. And it's taking only a few seconds. But do as many times as possible. Or remind yourself to do it every time you drink water. Say for example, the morning, mid-morning, afternoon, um, late afternoon, evening, and before you sleep. Uh, so you're having a routine check. You can use Alexa, Google, or uh, your phone reminders to remind you to drink water or to breathe. Another way you can also try is breathing in through your nose and out through your nose to calm your nervousness system. Um, it's a very quick way to see the results, yeah. But if you feel discomfort, you can of course do by the nose and out by the mouth. And it's more important is to do those belly breaths, which I also call as a conscious breathing. So you're here right now and breathing rather than your mind wandering at different places. And you think you did take breaths, which you do all the time, but you were not aware of your body reacting to each of the breath. And here, just by closing your eyes, if you feel comfortable, if not, you can open your eyes as well. It's just that distractions don't happen when you close your eyes and connect with your body and feel that air going in, hold it and breathe out and observe as you are breathing out what's happening to your body. How does the breath out feel like to you? So that's a very simple technique that you can try do it at any time. The next one is vitamin M, which is vitamin medita meditation. A simple way to do is relaxing your body, bringing your attention to your feet, set a timer to meditate for a minute or 30 seconds, do self-healing if you're trained in Reiki or any other healing modalities, or you can do by the candle glazing or listening to the music. Of course, I used to do that by watching my children play. Uh, it's such a beautiful uh, way, like, you know, for me, a meditation, watching them being in the present moment and noticing how they are interacting with each other and with the toys they have in front of them and what are they creating, like, you know, out of it. So it is very much uh, bringing your uh, attention into the space. And I practice a lot of uh, mindfulness-based meditations because these can be done anytime and um, and they can be done in a shorter space of a time um, I rather prefer um, mini ones rather than an hour long meditation but that's your personal choice as well even the candle glazing is quite uh, a beautiful experience to witness being in that observing the flames flickering and the colors that it's radiating as well. So have a check in what's your favorite one. And definitely on Insight Timer, YouTube, Spotify, you'll find loads of meditations or music to listen to that will calm you as well. And the one that pleases your um, soul is what you need to be looking into. The next one is the self-care, which brings the self-healing. Simple as like going into the nature near the lake or the beach or just sipping coffee by yourself or book a healing session or getting your nails done are some of the ways to do the self-care. I also did a podcast on this which is episode 13. You can check in and uh, listen to all the tools that I have given for the mind, body, soul as well. Yeah. Remember, anything that brings joy to you is important for you right now. Try dance in nature or read books if you're a bookworm like me. 
you can self heal by your hobbies as well bring out those beautiful creativeness outside uh, from your soul and if you haven't got one take time to make one like you know simple hobbies can be good to take it in figure it out something that you have enjoyed as a child as an adult you are not getting time and you're not able to do it maybe now is the time to look into it and incorporate those new uh, changes in your life yeah so definitely look into that Clutter-free home, definitely. Um, it definitely causes a lot of anxiety. Uh, when I see my home coming into a lot of clutter or a particular room, I feel very agitated and it triggers my internal emotions as well because the outside and internal is so related. Like, you know, if you are going through a lot of anxiety, we do ignore looking after our home, our space as well. And uh, so as... Uh, if you do a bit of a declutter to the outside, you will notice your inner um, decluttering is happening as well parallelly. And this applies both for the mind, body and the space, uh, right? Just not the homes that you're in or the workplaces that you're in. For the mind, the way you can declutter is write down all your thoughts. Imagine you're downloading all the stuff from your head. Just like when we are trying to clean the cupboards, we empty the shelves first before placing things in neat order. And you can clutter free your mind by journaling and simple as like writing it down. Like, you know, you don't need to write a big long sentences. You can just write like, you know, hey, groceries or the children, school, work, uh, a project or a business, campaigns. So these are the high level words even like, you know, because you know what uh, you were thinking about it. And by that you are, have emptied your mind there. That's the most important thing. And having a calm, relaxed, open mind will bring other stuff to process being in the present moment. Now, when you have emptied out, you've created a space. In that space, you'll have your new brainstorming ideas or even that creative flow or what is that I love to do or what am I curious in life? I want to check in with myself. So all those beautiful shifts do happen as we are decluttering the mind. For the body, try doing fasting or detoxing as per your body needs and guidance. Maybe uh, get an expert advice as well in that terms from a nutritionist or someone um, that you can work along with or your doctor. But definitely giving that space of intermittent uh, fastings or detoxing by the juices or the raw food will help to raise your vibrations of your body. And when you do that, you will feel um, there is a change in the way you're sleeping, your thinking, brain fog and everything. And that gets better as well. Yeah. And now the last one is the space. So you can start by a small space to clean the cupboards or start by like, you know, just uh, uh, one room at a time even like, you know, rather than going by the whole house, which is uh, rather not achievable, which is quite tiring as well, I would recommend just by the cupboards or your sacred space uh, going over and doing it. And this helps in um, clarity and also like, you know, um, you will notice that, you know, a uh, lot of things that we have, uh, we don't use them anymore and you can give it for a charity. And by that, you're doing uh, some good karmic deeds as well. Someone's uh, trash is someone's treasure, right? So why not give it to someone who can use it rather than, you know, using for over 20 years or 10 years, like, you know, it's still lying there and one day I'm going to use it is what you promise. But when is that day coming in? So do check in and see what you are not feeling resonated with and um, shift in. And also, yes, everyone follows Marie Kondo's uh, decluttering methods. Yeah, where it doesn't bring a spark or a joy, she says or recommends to give it away. Yes, sometimes that is needed as well to be done. The next one on the anxiety relief is connect to the nature. Uh, nature is such a beautiful healing uh, tool 
because the nature doesn't talk to us back, doesn't argue with us back. It only takes in, absorbs everything that we are giving out, yeah, or projecting out. So walking in the forest, park, beach, balcony, or a walk around a tree, hugging a tree is amazing, like, you know, to do it. But if you are somehow not being connected to the nature, Maybe put your raw screensaver to the nature pictures or in your mobile phone, like, you know, or print out some pictures, hang them around. So you are constantly seeing a picture of a forest or um, something that uh, inspires you. Some people, it's a waterfall or the beach, like, you know, anything that inspires you, break it in. And also that uh, breaks in the stagnant energies and uh, breaks us from the stubborn energy that is building up and shifts our thoughts, right? Think about like, you know, um, any of those pictures and everything that are hanging on or the, um, the words that you see around are for that moment, you're pausing and connecting to within yourself here. Yeah. So definitely connecting to your nature is a great tool to be working with. So the next one is um, having or scheduling some downtime in your day from your gadgets. Say, for example, 30 minutes of a gadget free time. Place it in your calendar or reminder to say that it's off the gadgets no social media, no connection. I ideally love to follow one in the morning where you wake up and not need to check your emails right away, like, you know, and because uh, right away when you wake up, your mind is still settling in, getting into the body and uh, <clears throat> getting in the flow of things. So this is where you need to be thinking about like, you know, what do I want to plant in? Like, you know, how do I want to charge myself with the uh, anxiety causing emails or something that is pleasant for me. So why not pick up uh, that is bringing pleasantness to you and work along here. Yeah. or do 30 minutes in the afternoon or 30 minutes in the evening, whichever suits you. But you'll notice that when you notice connecting back to the real world, you're bringing yourself together more, not being um, led by those um, the words or the emails or the pictures or anything that's been on the social media that's not being um, triggering you anymore but you are in your pleasant zone yeah definitely that helps because we are more glued than ever to our phones so we need to give some break time waking up early that's another tip that I find it super handy. Waking up earlier, even say, for example, 10 minutes before, or if you have a snooze habit, snooze it um, for 10 minutes before your usual time. So you are there with yourself. And this is before your even phones or anything I said, like, you know, connecting to them. And in that time is so valuable that you're shifting your thoughts. And it's so wonderful to think about your self-care tool or re um, say it out like, you know, what are you grateful for at that moment or set your intentions for the day and just breathe in and relax your body and be grateful for everything and connect to your body. And when you set your affirmations for the day, give undivided attention for a few minutes that's it like you know and this is your you're setting a totally a different note when you wake up even by 10 minutes totally a different day um which is again beautiful because what are the energy you put in in the first thing in the morning is the energy that you're going to hold for a long time uh throughout the day as well yeah pumping it up with the good vibes you know as i say like breakfast is your uh, best meal of the day like you know and don't spoil it by just drinking a cup of coffee that's it not eating anything healthy um so yeah again like pump it up with your uh, grateful time or just 10 minutes to yourself and try to before the family wakes up so you're not trying to address their needs but you're addressing your needs first the next one is the lavender oil i love 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 the smell of the lavender oil it is my favorite uh, essential oil that i carry it in my holidays anywhere hotel room anywhere i go like you know it helps us to relax and be calm 
it's amazing how quickly we relax our breathing and sleep well as well and also it helps with the muscle cramps pains as well um, check if you're okay to use before trying for the first time in case you're intolerant generally people are not but I did hear like you know some could be or um, for some pregnant women it may not be safe so do check in um, a couple of drops on eye bags or on the pillow is great as well. Uh, some essential oils are not recommended to put directly on your skin as it could be too strong to burn the skin. So you can mix it up if you're going to use it for the skin. You mix it up with a base oil like coconut or almond oil. Yeah, so definitely it's worth investing in. Mm. Um, the other one is relax your body by yoga tai chi pilates um, definitely they might help you to calm and you're letting chi prana energy to flow over your body and your body is moving rather than getting stagnant being mobile helps energy to shift and definitely you can practice with the uh, dance as well like you know a slow dance or a, a fast one depends on your uh, personality definitely this helps your body um, when you think about like you know dance yoga tai chi all these are getting out of the headspace getting into the body like you know um if you are with an instructor doing the yoga if you're not listening with your mind uh, somewhere else with clutter you will miss the moment or you'll injure yourself so definitely it's worth uh, practicing because totally they are anchoring you um the other ones like you know with these are uh, having a when you have like your coffee time that you're thinking about it maybe replace them with the herbal teas like rose chamomile peppermint they are great to calm us down and also the science has been proven that the warm water helps us to calm down but whereas the coffee make make us anxious so do watch out what your body reactions are and what we consume is what we give back so definitely checking in with yourself what's right for you is so important and release this is the next thing release the stuff to create new ideas new energies and new thinking process to flow in imagine the space to create new projects growing bigger in your mind so definitely this will help you where you are bringing new ideas. Why not? Like that is so exciting, isn't it? And this helps you to shift in what you were thinking about not working well, but whereas you're creating a newness here. And also try to bring a friend who can hold an accountability for you, for your growth and for your success. Like you're definitely a person who is part of your soul group will be amazing. Soul tribe is amazing to hold that beautiful space for you. And it's this is where I feel it's so important for us to be part of a tribe and uh, share the emotions or a community who can understand us, you know. Uh, a true friend can hold the space for you and be part of your upliftment in your journey and you can do in return for your friend as well when they need it they will hold the space for you in your heart and look around if you got one definitely like you know and look around from your open heart if not make your journal and that's your friend again journals are a powerful tool for your growth and they keep all the secrets all the things together and other thing is definitely first thing is we need to accept we are anxious and rather than running away and saying all is well all is good like you know but feeling anxiousness accepting it is so important uh, only when you say yes you're anxious you are also telling the universe i'm ready to work on it i'm not in a comfort i want to help i want to be helped and i want to change and shift and remember we are all humans and living a life here with so much complexity some days um the triggers will be there uh, and that will be getting us but the most important is to recognize the patterns and working through them most of us are in a denial to take the moments to accept and it is okay to receive help from the medical professions or counseling or through the healing. Um, there is no awkwardness because like 
everyone is going through some challenge in their life even though you may not notice that from the social media post but behind it the real life is going through challenges yeah so don't deny and always be open to seek help and ask for help the next one is observing the thoughts without judging this is the best mindfulness practice uh, the best lesson here is like, you know, is observing the thoughts as they come in and go. And uh, say, for example, I'm having a thought right now. What if the candle, I forget to off it, it's going to light up. And I'm just observing that thought and not doing anything, even though I know the candle is in a safe place, you know. Uh, that is the most important thing, just observing. And also when a friend is talking to you about their personal journey or a story, listen to them rather than judging them where they are coming from oh did you not even know this simple thing how could you be like that no they didn't know there's a reason they opened up to seek help from you so no judging we all are so individuals different um pathways we are on like you know and remember we have like sixty-five thousand thoughts a day if we sit with them we are of course going to be swamped but rather make a choice to let them pass by. Choose the ones that help you move forward with your life purpose, gain the goals, move forward from where you are. And that is the best way to learn more about your own self. The next one is the self-talk. Always question where your anxious moment or thought came from and ask him, is it mine or did someone plant it to me or is it coming from my cultural beliefs or limiting beliefs and could I do it or is it not even yours? Put it in the recycle bin in the head. It doesn't belong to you or I would also imagine myself deleting it from the space and creating new thoughts to come in like, you know, definitely don't want to hold the junk thoughts uh, it's about how you release it out yeah when you make um space or delete the um, old patterns or the thoughts that are not serving you and uh, this is where you are giving the opportunity to raise your vibrations and um, releasing anything that is causing the lowering the vibration and you start love yourself and start the journey by yourself that's the most important thing like you know you're only accepting what's true for you and what's right for you and the last one here i would like to share is be in the present moment make the most in the moment you got now everything else is not in your control not the past not the future live this very moment right now we all struggle with this and we need to get tuned into it and all the best like you know when you are thinking about making these changes you definitely will see the reduction in your anxiousness or the the causes and the worries and everything you're bringing more of a, a shift in them that they're not taking over your life but also you're bringing your life forward with peace and fun joyfulness love kindness everything that you deserve from inside out yeah so be very much in the present moment and don't forget to start with belly breath like the, the most easiest simplest of the activity that we can ever do so all the best uh, guys if you have been listening to the very end um, all the best in your journey and get connected to your inner guide you know you are with yourself and you are your best version and your best friend as well always be true to yourself so thank you once again for listening in if you enjoyed it please uh, leave a review or a comment i would much much appreciate and share share with your tribe if you found these helpful so thank you so much and have a wonderful day evening afternoon wherever you are thank you all for listening in and tuning into the podcast life is magical i hope you found some good nuggets to move through this week want to ask a question please email me or stay connected if something resonated or found useful and helpful from this podcast. I love to hear back from you. 
My email is info at srimanju.com. That is S-R-I-M-A-N-J-U, which is in the show notes below. Until next week, namaste and good day. Happy magic. Love to you all. Thank you for listening in.